Hi, this is Adrian Crawford. It's Williams Crawford, passion for Porsche. And today we're going to have a look at this beautiful 356 that our restoration manager, Graham, has just completed. It's um, soon to go back to its owner in Texas. So uh, let's find out a little bit about it. Ta what model is it, Graham? It's a, three, a 64 356C. And what have we done to it? Um, essentially we've given it a, a nice new shiny coat of paint completely redone the interior put it on some nice wheels a few subtle changes on the body 12 volt electrics and an uprated engine what have you done on the body um, so the body we've taken it back to bare metal and uh, dealt with any uh, corrosion issues and then had it refinished in midnight blue metallic which is a modern Porsche color well, it does look fabulous just um tell me about the one thing that i notice is um the headlamps and there's something different about the front of it that um from when it came in so we've put a modern uh, uh hid type uh, light in this converting it to 12 volt and uh, also i've deleted the front hood handle and fitted a carrera type trimmed to the bumper and deleted the front overriders so it looks cool it's uh, sort of heading in the direction of a hot rod 356 has it got any hotness about it um <laughs> it goes a bit quicker um engine wise originally it was a 75 horsepower c engine um i've completely rebuilt it with a balanced bottom end we put uh high compression bow, uh, pistons in it, 1720cc, uh, performance camshaft and it's running Weber carbs. Let, let's have a look. Can you, can you open it up? Yeah. Colour looks fantastic, doesn't it? <laughs> Especially with the orange inside. So the engine is it visually it looks stock um, but the only giveaway is the is the modern Weber carbs which I like to use just for ease of tuning and uh, drivability it's also got a, a modern electronic ignition which helps stabilize the idle and does away with your points and condensers and things what about the charging um, what we I've used a had the original 6 volt dynamo convert to 12 volt and a modern uh, 12 volt regulator Okay, another little thing that I can see, which I hadn't noticed before, is inside the engine lid. So yeah, what I've done, uh, the customer was concerned about the lack of lighting on the back of the car, so I've put a third brake light and I've also wired in a second light for a fog, so he can uh, not get run over by huge American trucks. <laughs> <laughs> That's really, really neat. I've only just noticed it. That is really cool. Now, one of the outstanding things with this car is that the customer sent us a sample of the leather and we all stood there, not me of course, but we all stood there wondering what on earth he was thinking of. But have a look at this when we open the door. So it's bright orange. <laughs> so you've got bright orange leather um, with a an original type uh, dark blue square weave carpet. A beautiful steering wheel in it. So yeah, I've got a uh, a, a nice uh, reproduction Les Leston steering wheel in the car. Um, all the gauges have been converted to 12 volts, and but the inside is pretty much as it was originally, but just different colours. And I remember you having put the headlining in it and then taking the headlining out yeah so um we i fitted the headlining the original ivory type and we uh, studied it in the pictures that i sent to the customer over in the in the us and he wasn't sure whether the color would work so i had a a custom dark blue vinyl headlining fitted to the car which absolutely looks fantastic it's coming out stunning yeah that modernizes the car doesn't it it just suits the inside it brings it all together really nice 
So, um, have we done anything on the suspension? And the suspension is is pretty much stock. Um, it's got some coney shocks that have, have tweaked up a little bit. The brakes were refurbished. We did a while ago with new uh, refurb calipers and things. So, it's a it's a pretty stock ride. It's a little bit firmer, but it um, it, sh it performs and stops and handles as it should really. Is this one of those that we did a disc brake conversion on? No, this is uh this was uh fitted with discs all on all four wheels from the factory. So it's a it's a factory brake setup on it. Okay, that looks brilliant. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go for a little ride in it around the block so she can get the feel of it. got a 356 that you need some work on our man Graham here loves them and so do we